we are going to see how to add our new input or text buffers dynamically using Vue.js. Let's see a uh, demo of what we are going to build. So on clicking of this minor, it needs to be removed. On the clicking of this plus button, it will add the text boxes dynamically. Okay. Uh, let's gonna uncreate the, the things what I've seen now. So for that, first go and create new project in our project folder called dynamic input view okay the next is create index.html file in your project folder okay next open your project in your favorite editor so now copy paste the html what i have provided okay also add the so i have added the, the vue.js reference also add the bootstrap and photo some reference for icons and for styling purpose okay the next is add uh, the div with the idea of app so the way we are gonna mount our vue.js application Next is we are gonna initialize our Vue.js application. Initialize our Vue.js application. Okay. Next is uh, we will create a input array as a data property in our Vue.js applications. Okay. Once that done. So you see, you seeing, uh, you know, v for Vue.js directory. We dynamically, uh, you know, add or remove the text boxes in our DOM. So the v for directory will take care of adding, removing um, the text boxes in the DOM based on the input array. Okay. Let now let's copy and paste this HTML in our HTML inside the app uh, div okay okay once the done so on the clicking of the button we will call a remove method on the clicking of add method we will call the add method to add and remove the text boxes uh, uh, to the dom dynamically so on the add we will push this uh, uh, object so that uh, view for directory will take care of adding the new text box to the dom on click of this remove uh, based on the index it will remove the uh, object from the uh, from the array inputs array so that uh, it automatically removes the text boxes from the down so this is the logic so now let's add the these two methods to our app now go and verify the things what we have created Okay. See, it's working. So we need to add little bit of styles. So uh, provide the, that styles in the downloaded file. So just add that styles. Now reload the file. It will work. Okay. Now you successfully created replicated uh, the functionality I described in the demo. Thank you for watching. Don't uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.